I booked this hostel that seemed very near to uh, Taksim Square, but when I reached the hostel, it was terrible because the hostel was in the middle of Tarlabashi. Tarlabashi was my first impression of Istanbul. So before coming to Turkey, I started uh, with an engineering faculty, but after like one year, <laughs> I discovered that was not my cup of tea. And I decided to take this gap year and I stayed two or three months in the UK, two months in Spain and some months in, in France. At this gap year and to travel in Europe, I paid everything by myself. In these countries, I always worked. For example, in, in England, I could uh, find um, a job in a restaurant. <laughs> it was not a very good job. It was very underpaid, but it was a job so I could survive. After this period, I decided to, to be an architect. And so I started studying in, um, in a small uh, city in, uh, in Italy called Ferrara. I stayed in Ferrara five years and Ferrara is a quite small city. I wanted to have another international experience. So I decided to apply for a Erasmus internship that was in uh, 2018. I decided for Turkey because I wanted to discover a, a very different country and also um, I wanted to go to Turkey because I really love uh, the movies of this Italian Turkish movie maker that it's called Herzan Ospetek. I literally watched every single movie that he made. I was full of this oriental, <laughs> exotic dream of uh, this Istanbul. <laughs> Another reason why I decided to go to Istanbul is that in the um, European standard it's very very cheap so it was easy to me to, to live there with a very low amount of money. I worked in the summer before going to Istanbul so I partially paid my everything uh, by myself and in part uh, uh, with the money of the Erasmus project that they were not enough to live on and partly with the help of my parents. Before coming to Turkey I spent five, six, even seven months dreaming about my time there. I was literally living in a Persan Ospetex movie I arrived in Istanbul in January 2019. After all this daydreaming about my trip there, my first impression was very bad. <laughs> was really, really bad. I arrived to the airport, everybody was speaking only in Turkish, a lot of noise, a lot of dirt everywhere. <laughs> And after a while, I regained control of myself. So I said, Eduardo, you have to, to reach this hostel. I booked this hostel that seemed very near to uh, Taksim Square. But when I reached the hostel, it was terrible because the hostel was in the middle of Tarlabashi. Tarlabashi was my first impression of Istanbul. So in this hostel, uh, I spent my, my first week. In the last days, I just organized some um, meeting with people offering rooms. I was quite lucky because uh, the third room that I visited was the perfect one. It was in, uh, in the right middle of Besiktas and uh, I lived there all the five months that I spent in Istanbul. So I studied architecture in uh, um, Istanbul Technical University. It was very, very different from my experience in Italy. In Ferrara, I had like three, maximum four subjects per semester. Instead, in Istanbul, I had seven subjects. It was like a lot. I, I couldn't even remember like the seventh one every time. <laughs> Living in Istanbul was very, very different from my 
Italian routine. Overpopulation was a very difficult character of the city for me. When you are in the street, you have always to struggle for your space. You have to push other people, you have to find a, like, a gap among other people. This is very stressing. I lived in the center of Besiktas. I loved the neighborhood, but every evening I needed like 20 minutes or 30 minutes to walk from the bus station to my house fighting against other people. It was crazy. I think after the first or second month, I get used to it. For me, as an Italian, I found Turkish people very close to our way of living and our way of relate each other. Uh, but I think Turkish people are even warmer than uh, Italian people. Once I tried to reach uh, the Jamalika mosque, but after the first bus, I get lost. I was like in the middle of a hill. I had no idea where, where I was supposed to go. My mobile phone had no battery anymore. So I just stopped a elderly man. I think he was 70, something like this. He just took me, put me on the bus, asked to the uh, bus driver to help me. So the bus driver said to the, all the people in the bus if there was someone going there. Another man raised his hand, took me, took me to another bus and said, he said to me, ah, you have to wait three stops and then you will see the jammer. And yeah, it was like this. So I was guided by these people, even if they couldn't understand not a single word from me. And it was so, so cool. One of the most interesting difference uh, uh, between Italian young people and Turkish young people is that we have just one culture. Everyone belongs to this culture. Instead, in Turkish, there are many cultures many social sectors living nearby each other and this is reflected in the structure of Istanbul. Every neighborhood is a, a completely different city with a very different soul. Also I met very progressive young people belonging to the I educated class. They were like stupefied by my interest for traditional sides of the city. They couldn't understand this because the traditional thing is something apart from the view of the world. So now in Italy, I'm living in Trento, small town in the northern part of the Italian peninsula. I'm working as an architect, but you know, I don't have a stable job. I just participate to some specific project. The working situation for architects in Italy is not so easy because Italy is the country in the world with the highest uh, density of architects per inhabitant. So there is this kind of constant immigration of Italian architects abroad because here it's quite hard to find a good job. Right now my plan is to to go in Germany for some time, to stay there to work, and then uh, I imagine my life in a nomadic way. So I really, I'm, I would like to come back to Istanbul, and not for a holiday or not for some days, but for a period of my life.